Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this chili paste known as Samba Tunis or Samba Chili Paste. This is actually can act as a condiment actually for your fried noodles or for your noodle soup or you, if you want to use it for your chili crab etc for any of the dishes with chili this can be done okay um, ingredients are pretty simple and straightforward I have with me over here 30 pieces of dried chili which I've uh, deseeded and uh, soaked um, about 200 grams of uh, red chili one whole pulp of uh, garlic roughly chopped up like this 20 pieces of shallots also roughly chopped up I like my chili to be a little bit spicy so I've added in about approximately about um, nine piece, 8 pieces of this uh, chili party. 1 tablespoon of this uh, belacan which I've actually dry roasted okay. 2 tablespoons of this uh, gulab leka or brown sugar and a quarter cup of uh, this tamarind paste or rather tamarind juice um, I've actually mixed 1 tablespoon of uh, tamarind okay, the, the tamarind paste with uh, water and derived with a quarter cup of the tamarind juice so what we're going to do now is we're going to blend all these vegetables together with a little bit of oil to blend them uh, to, to so that they can get together. We're going to put in all the chilies, the shallots, the garlic inside here. So you put all this uh, inside here. Um, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of uh, oil. Because we need them to bind together. We start to blend them together. So I'm just going to start to blend them. Now, if you have a if you have a higher powered um, processor at home, then you don't have to do it like what I'm doing right now. But mine is uh, just a normal blender, so. Every few times I need to do this, especially if uh, unless I add water, which I don't like to, because I don't like my chili to be so full of water. So I'm just going to stir in all this a little bit. And, uh, it take a little bit longer time, but you will still get the job done. So when you have grind this to a fine paste like this, then it's time to fry the chili paste. So in a pan, pour in approximately about one cup of oil. It might seem a lot, but I mean, for fried chili, this is what we really need to actually. Now, when you are grinding the chili paste, um, if you if your process if your food processor or blender is, um, I mean, the the power is not that high, um, you might have to add a little bit more oil into your paste or a little bit of water, so that actually you can actually blend them together. Okay. So now we wait for the oil to heat up a little bit before we pour in the chili paste. So now we pour in the chili paste. In goes the blood chain also. And then you fry that. Now if you notice I did not add in any salt at this particular moment. Um, I'm going to I mean put salt in at the later part itself. I would suggest not to make this too salty. So the next time if you want to fry with vegetables or have it on your own, you can actually add in a little bit more salt or a little bit more sugar if you want to and things like that. This will take approximately about 20 minutes or so. Now when you see that the chili has turned a darker shade of a red, time to put in the palm sugar and the asam water. For more like this, maybe one to one and a half teaspoon of uh, salt will be fine. So I'm just adding in one and a half teaspoon of salt. Now this is the fried sambal chili, okay, not the usual blatin chili. Now blatin chili is basically um, you only dry roast the blatin and then blend the chilies together. You don't fry them. That's a blatin chili with a calamansi or lime actually. So this is a sambal tunis, which is the fried chili uh, paste actually. Smells really good. Now when you see that the oil is separating from this uh, chili paste. That means that it's uh, done already. Uh, but I like to try just a little bit more to bring out more fragrance off from me. So you're approximately one hour, ah, one minute, sorry. I'll be dishing this out. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of the Sambatunis or Sambat Chili. 
I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.